Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be Operation Bedrock number 17. And a helpful tip that LEGO Duke 3 has sent me is basically if you go to Help and Options, you go to Settings, you go to Options again, if I could actually find it, because I can never find it at this moment in time, and go to In-Game Tool Tips and turn it off. On the down left corner where it used to be where you press X for crafting and Y for inventory, that is gone now. And it includes the jump, the mine, the place, it just gets rid of it. So it's a pretty helpful tip if you want to have it like that little spot that has been annoying a lot of people now it's gone now if they could actually give us an option to get rid of the hearts as well as give just take away the cursor you know the little plus sign in the middle of the screen and as well as at the nine inventory blocks if, we did, if you could get rid of all that in one useful option that'd be great because and then it gives us more variety and as well as gives us more options to make videos that those things will not get in the way at least we at least we have one step towards that direction when we get rid of the in-game tooltips. So hopefully for Jay, if you ever actually watch my videos or anything like that, if someone ever actually shows you these videos, I would greatly appreciate if you give us an option to get rid of that because I plan on making videos, but since we have the cursor and the hearts and the inventory thing, that would be kind of hard for me to actually make a video at least to my intentions or my ideas because that thing is just going to be in the way. And I don't know, it just seems like you're working on everything else if you could give give us an option to do that that'd be great on that let's get to the main point basically one of the other comments I received is basically why not take a look back at every spot or every tunnel that you have made so this is what I'm gonna do right now we went down to project skylight and now we're looking at 30 torch path we hope to get that finished and once we get ho once we get that finished at least this one tunnel then we'll start making the other tunnel the other direction basically I think we're, I believe we're going south if we actually could look at the map I'm not really too sure I just don't remember anymore so, so let's assume we're going south once we're done with the south tunnel we'll actually start moving on to the north tunnel and just basically do the same thing make a 50 by 3 like 50 wide by 3 height block whatever you want to call it tunnel and just put 30 torches in the middle and one torch on the side so basically it gets rid of all the monsters so that the monsters will not spawn at all once you get into the tunnel so that's pretty much somewhat peaceful at the same time but just it makes it a lot easier for us not to get attacked by monsters so here we are yep I think we, yes that yep sorry we are going south and we're about another I guess maybe 250 blocks away from reaching the end of the end of the map or the server and once that happens we get to go on to the north tunnel which I'll be very happy for so we have done a lot of progress I have to thank a few people who have joined me I just can't remember who joined me at when but as far as I can know as far as I can tell these are the people who helped me white boy 278 XX little legend XX I believe you've joined me in a bit there's not Corgi 720, there's V Furo, there's Strong Dead 1045, there's Hell Raising 15. Who else helped us? If I completely forgot who you that you helped us, I'm completely sorry. I just I cannot think of it at a time, but at least I can put it in the description to make up for it. So yeah, this is pretty much all it is. We're just gonna look up of all the tunnels, of all the things we have made. Some of them I did not even realize that we had, and some of them that I just completely for and utterly forgotten. So I gotta go get a pickaxe just in case if I find something, and as well as some torches. So let's continue on, shall we? So what we, so what I've noticed is that basically it's literally right next door through two, three torch path. We actually make that widen up a bit. If you just take down the corridor to the left, and then here you are. We are at three torch path. Basically, the beginning of Operation Bedrock, or at least around episode six or episode seven, where we actually start making it. And look at that wide area of stone right there I had to cover that up there was a lot of lava at that spot and this is basically a tunnel that my friends X oh wait I throw X knives and as well as interventions made I basically let them do whatever they want I made or basically they made their own tunnel they've d done a lot of digging they've seen a lot of resources and they gave me some of the resources before they died and lost everything so at least we got the resources that we needed to get and this is their tunnel. I have no idea what they have done. I have no idea what other tunnels they have made. I'm pretty sure I haven't even found all of them yet. I'm pretty sure that they covered some of them too. But this is what they made. They actually made a oh, okay. They made a nice corridor area. This actually was a really neat design. But sadly, we're gonna have to destroy it eventually. Not now, but eventually. But I just can't. 
I just can't believe that I actually made something like this, so this is like one of the first times I've actually seen it. I did see it before, but the thing is that that clip got corrupted and I had to go all the way back here, and yeah, life does not work the way you want it to, so this is basically a take two type of deal. I made already made a 15 minute clip, but I realized that one of it, at least 10 to 30 seconds was corrupt, and I have to start over. I did not want to do a jump cut or anything like that. So... Yeah, this is their tunnel, some of the places that I've known, but at the same time, it's just kind of it's kind of weird actually finding your friend's tunnels and then see what work they have done. You can see that all the obsidian blocks, I would assume they had a bucket of water somewhere, but they lost that a long time ago. And there's a zombie over there. I'm not going to even bother going over there. I can't even see what's over there anyways, so I'm just going to get out. And the zombie's still chasing me. We're going to go over here. Oh, look. Stairs. Alright. It, it, eh. My god. Alright. Where to go? Where to go? I think this is just going to be a dead end. Because I would just assume that they've only dug so much that everything leads to a circle. And of course, this one leads to a circle. So I'm going to go down the stairs. Zombie is still there. And I'm just going to get out of there now. Because I'm not going to waste my time. I don't want to take too much of the time just staying over there. Oh. There's something new? Nope. It's just basically the same tunnel. And it goes all the way over there, but there's a dead end over there, so I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to get out of this tunnel now. So, what do people want to expect from me? They want me to invite them to this world. And once I invite them to this world, we should actually be able to get a lot of things done. And especially when there's new games coming out in the fall, I'm going to be really preoccupied with those games. A lot of my friends who have been with me since day one of Operation Bedrock, they are now occupied with the new games that are coming out. And hopefully with the new update of Minecraft, everybody will come back to Minecraft and then we could actually get more work done. But until then, yeah, once the whole buzz of the new games are out, are pretty much done and over with we probably will be able to get back to minecraft and i'm pretty sure a lot of you have been dying to actually play minecraft with me since day one or day 50 maybe i don't even know i'm sorry that i've been taking so long i'm sorry i really hate myself for this and i don't want to keep you guys waiting i'm still trying to trying to get the courage to actually start inviting people because if things happen and it makes me so angry that I do not want to invite people anymore I don't want this to ruin everybody or ruin this for anybody or everybody who has been waiting for such a long time so I'm gonna have to at least invite one person two people at a time maybe even get a full lobby one day just make sure that everybody stays in the same spot and if someone really really makes me angry I'll just kill them off and just ban them off from the list and not invite them ever again so please understand that if you actually had a big project yourself and you just don't want to actually invite people as you you fear that they might mess something up, you will understand how I feel about this. But I really got to suck it up and actually start inviting people because I will never know until I actually start inviting people. And I did spend like 30 bucks on a new account just for this purpose and I'm not going to let that go to waste of course. Otherwise then I'm really, really being... What's it called? I'm really having a phobia of this now. So, yeah. At least I got that out of the way. I will start inviting people. It's just a matter of when. And I already got more and more people at least been waiting for weeks and weeks. And they are actually being patient enough to, to allow me to take some time to readjust myself and try to get or try to gain more trust in people which I really appreciate that so they will be pretty much one of the first people I'll actually invite and then I'll go down from the list of the first person all the way down the list if they don't respond then I'll just move on to the next person on the list and then put them on the list of people in Q I think it's I think that's how you pronounce it Q U E U E I think that's how you pronounce it Q I don't know Q E I, I just don't know anymore so right what we're looking at now is just basically my friend's tunnel, XXPN's tunnel. He basically made a tunnel on his own and it basically reaches all the way down to Three Torch Path. At least one part of Three Torch Path. And I gotta mention, we are not even done with Three Torch Path. It's that we, we my friend suggested that we made a skylight. We both, we, we're basically, sorry, we basically focused our attention at Project Skylight. We just pretty much abandoned Three Torch Path. And now we're making 30 torch path, which is eventually going to reach 3 torch path. So how fun is that? What, and once we're done with all those four tunnels, we could get back to 3 torch path and continue finishing off 3 torch path. And by then we're going to get our tools just to 
basically use and get everything done quicker. Because I got, I can tell you this right now. We have over 900 diamond. I believe we have at least 910 diamond. I just don't know at this point, but I'm pretty sure we are at least probably at 7,600 iron. It's kind of fun that we're gonna meet our diamond goal first or before. Yeah, we're gonna meet our diamond goal before we actually meet our iron goal. And once we get our diamond tools, they're gonna be basically me and Pian are gonna be one of the few who actually gets to have these diamond tools because we honestly do not die that often. Everybody else dies so often that I kind of fear of actually giving them diamond tools. So far they have died mostly by lava. I don't care if they die by monsters, but if they die by lava and that diamond tool gets lost in the lava, you will understand that basically that just dim dim I can't even pronounce it anymore. That will just diminish the little trust that will have towards the diamond tool being given to a person who will actually die often. I already had one person die by lava three times, I have another person who keeps falling and dying, but at least they will get the iron tools. I will not mind giving them iron tools, but the diamond tools, that's basically a big responsibility. Even though it is a video game after all, but you would understand if you found something so rare that if you give it to someone and they die and they lost it, you'd be kind of frustrated. But since we have so many diamond tools, you would just think that we could just give it all away that just doesn't work that way and what I actually do plan on doing once Operation Bedrock is actually done I want to give you guys the copy of the file of Operation Bedrock so well first let me let, let me tell you about this spot right here this is actually a little enchantment room that my friend made in hopes and in anticipation of the Minecraft update but sadly we're not gonna get enchantment just yet and as well as he actually made an underground tree farm so you could actually grow trees at bedrock level is that you have to have the dirt and you have to have room at the ceiling for the trees to grow so here's a tree farm that he made so he could gather some wood and supplies so it's actually pretty nice putting it behind the portal anyways so like I said I plan oh yes one more thing here's pictures here's here's his room with all these little lovely pictures so that's pretty nice his favorite is the little what's it called martial arts master fighting the hand of God alright back to what I was saying so I actually do plan on putting this onto a file and actually giving this to everyone so you could have Operation Bedrock to yourself and then from there you can start building from the ground up you'll have all the diamond tools you'll have all the iron equipment you have pretty much everything you need just to build from there but since creative mode could come by that would just kinda of be redundant and I was not even hoping that creative mode would be here but sadly it is it's gonna be here soon and as well as that this the purpose of having operation bedrock will probably diminish because a lot of people will be able to do this from them, for themselves with creative mode but this what makes it different from them and I or everybody else who actually helped out I should say that because it, I cannot I will not credit myself or will I will not take all of the credit for this it's all it's all because of you guys that made this all possible so what makes them sorry I, I kind of I'm really out of it what makes them different from us we actually did it legitly they did it by creative mode which actually made it possible and very easy just to spawn diamond pickaxes diamond shovels diamond axes diamond whatever and just basically clear out the whole entire server but here's the thing, it's going to actually, what I've been told is that the servers from then on are going to actually be larger. So once they are larger, it's going to be a lot more difficult for them to actually start mining everything. So what we have right now is basically in a closed space and once the update is here, the servers are going to get larger. And what I've been told is Operation Bedrock is not going to be affected at all, which I'm very happy for. So we, once we're actually done with it, that accomplishment would be very great knowing that we've done it legitly we did not cheat or anything use any duplication glitches or any of these glitches that everybody keeps finding we did it all legit and that's where the whole accomplishment is going to come in so hopefully we'll actually be able to actually get operation bedrock done within the next three months or maybe even five months i have no idea but if, once i start inviting people i could only assume that it's going to be quicker but until then I'm going to actually start inviting people, at least two or three people, and then let's see if we could go from there. Hopefully I could get a full lobby every other day and we could start getting a lot of things done. 
But until then, this is all I have to say. There's a lot of more things I want to say, but it's going to have to hold up to the next episode, or at least the next video that I post up wanting to talk about something. So until then, have a nice day, everybody. I will see you in the next video.